My name is Dr. Eric Holzwinger. We would like to thank the Endoscopy Journal for an opportunity to talk about our recently published article, Benchmarking Definitions of False Positive Alerts During Computer-Aided Polyp Detection in Colonoscopy. The co-authors of this article include Dr. Muhammad Bilal, Dr. Jeremy Gleason Brown, Dr. Shalindra Singh, Dr. Amaric Beck, Dr. Kenneth Ernest Suarez, and Dr. Tyler Burzen. This is a collaborative study across multiple institutions with our primary affiliation being Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and Harvard Medical School in Boston. I have Dr. Muhammad Bilal, Dr. Jeremy Gleason Brown, and Dr. Tyler Burzen here with me to talk about our article. Dr. Burzen, why did you do this study and what was your motivation behind it? Yeah, so an important outcome in most uh, computer-aided polyp detection colonoscopy studies is the number of false positive alarms. And a false positive is defined as an area detected by the AI system, which is not deemed to be a polyp by the endoscopist. Presently, there's no consensus definition of how false positives for CADE should be defined. In prior prospective studies on polyp detection or CADE technology, false positive definitions have varied widely. And in some cases, the definition of false positive has not been specified at all. Some studies, for instance, have offered a purely subjective definition, leaving it up to the endoscopist's discretion whether an alert box should be considered a false positive or not. For instance, if the false positive alert box pops up only for a moment, or if it's maybe highlighting a bubble that is quickly washed away, then it may not be called a false positive depending on the study protocol or the preference of the uh, uh, provider performing the study. The other way to define a false positive is using a more strict time-based definition. Uh, if an alert box, for instance, shows up over a non-polyp area instantaneously, or say if that alert box persists for one to two seconds, then that may be called a false positive. All of these false positive definitions have been used over the last couple of years in different studies. We believe that the time-based definitions of false positives are most objective. And so we aim to explore how varying time threshold definitions of false positives changed how we interpreted the performance, the specificity and the accuracy of a computer-aided polyp detection system. Thank you so much, Dr. Burzen. Dr. Gleason Brown, what was the outcome of this study and why is it important? Thank you, Dr. Holtzmeier. So our study revealed that with a false positive threshold of greater than or equal to 0.5 seconds, specificity and accuracy were 93.2% and 97.8% respectively. This increased to 98.6% and 99.5% for a false positive threshold of greater than one second and 99.8% and 99.9% for a false positive threshold of greater than or equal to two seconds. The majority of false positives below two seconds were stool or bubbles. As a result, a false positive threshold of greater than or equal to two seconds led to a higher reported value for both specificity and accuracy. Thank you, Dr. Gleason Brown. Dr. Bilal, what do you think are the next steps after this? Thank you, Eric. Our analysis demonstrates how different threshold definitions for false positives can impact the reported diagnostic performance of computer-aided detection for colon polyps. As the field of computer-aided detection continues to progress rapidly, establishing consensus definitions for computer-aided detection performance parameters is of significant importance to interpret future trials. So in conclusion, an ideal computer detection system should have a high sensitivity for polyp detection, should have low rates of false positive alarms, low latency, and low per procedure cost. Our study has shown that changing the threshold for a false positive definition can dramatically impact certain performance characteristics of a computer detection system. We believe this study will serve as a foundation for future studies in artificial intelligence to improve computer and colonic polyp detection and directly compare different CADI systems. We're honored and grateful to present our findings in endoscopy. Thank you so much.